What is a dissertation? A dissertation is a long piece of academic writing that complies with a student's scholarly research work. When writing a dissertation, a student is supposed to review existing research on a specific theory and then conduct their research to disprove or expound on the previous research. The topic can be anything that catches your interest, provided it contributes to your field of study. What is the difference between a dissertation and a thesis? The main difference between a dissertation and a thesis is the degree programs that require them. Master students will write a thesis, while PhD students will write a dissertation. Additionally, a thesis compiles already existing information while a dissertation develops and defends a unique concept. Also, a thesis is 100 pages on average, while a dissertation is anywhere between 100 to 300 pages in length, however, they are both compulsory for students to complete specific academic programs. They also require good writing skills and ethical practices such as avoiding plagiarism are essential. Where can I find dissertation topics? Our dissertation writing services experts can assure you that the right choice for a dissertation topic is integral to your success. An exciting topic can help you maintain focus, so you must look for ideas that intrigue you. There are several options for this. Analyze recent works in your field of study, look for inspiration from current news events and scientific conferences, ask advice from instructors and peers, study past dissertations to see how you can expound on the previous research, place an inquiry at our dissertation writing services site for assistance with selecting a topic. How hard is writing a dissertation? To many students, writing a dissertation can be a daunting affair. Not only do they have to carry out research, but they also have to present the results correctly. For one, beginning your research early is vital, as well as finding reputable literary sources to review and deciding on the best research methods. However, many students are unclear on how to structure their papers and what to include. Below is a short guide from our dissertation writing services expert that can help you understand what your instructor expects. 1. Title page. This page functions to help readers identify the paper. Here you write elements such as the paper's title, name, type of document, dissertation, department and institution, degree program, and submission date. You may also include the school's logo, your student identification number, and your supervisor's name, too. Copyright statement, while optional, this page reminds readers that as the document's writer, you retain intellectual property rights as it is your work. It is not counted as a separate page. 3. Abstract in a dissertation, an abstract aims to deconstruct the purposes and results of the research. While the structure depends on discipline, the usual abstract contains 300 words with an introduction, method, result, and discussion. For Table of contents, the function of this page is to guide the reader to the different chapters, major subsections, and their numbers in the paper. It also allows readers to follow the paper even if they stop halfway through. 5. Chapter 1, Introduction, this section provides a brief overview of the research topic. Begin by stating the problem, proposing a conceptual framework, stating the purpose of the study, posing the research questions which state the implications they expect to form the study, why the study is essential, and defining any technical terms to be used. Since chapter 1 of a dissertation merely introduces the topic, it should be between 15 to 25 pages, and content that exceeds this should be included in other chapters. 6. Chapter 2, Literature Review. The literature review forms a foundation for the entire paper by presenting previously established research on the topic, the significant findings made, and the research methodologies used. It also states what is unknown, which will be analyzed in later chapters. Oftentimes it is the longest chapter and may range between 40 to 60 pages. Use this section to develop a well-documented argument backed by reputable sources to provide clarity on why the research question was chosen by pointing out research gaps. You read more on how to write a literature review 7. Chapter 3, Research Design and Methodology. In this chapter, you will outline how the study will be conducted. It is 10 to 25 pages long and also explains the context, data sources, data collections, and data analysis tools. You can choose from qualitative or quantitative research methods depending on the discipline and resources available. Qualitative research methods seek to investigate social phenomena using non-numerical data. 
It uses techniques such as observations, one-on-one -on -one interviews, and focus groups. On the other hand, quantitative research uses numerical and quantifiable data to perform mathematical, computational, or statistical techniques. It uses methods such as close-ended surveys and experiments. Since it presents the analytical process product, it can stand alone as its own chapter. Anyone should be able to read this chapter and understand what your study is about and what it aims to achieve. 9. Chapter 5, Summary, Implications and Discussions. This final chapter discusses the findings, explanations of the results, and how they have answered the research questions. It contains anywhere between 15 to 20 pages and also includes future research possibilities. At this point, you can also tell the reader what they should take from your study and how it can help the world. To wrap your dissertation up nicely, ensure you address the problem and purpose of the study and consider your defense for any possible rebuttals. Common errors when writing a dissertation. When students come to us looking for dissertation rewriting help, they mentioned that their original manuscript had several errors. This resulted in their professors requesting revisions. Below are some common and avoidable mistakes you should avoid when writing your dissertation, plus some tips on how to write a good dissertation. 1. Failure to cross-reference chapters. The ideas in your dissertation should be connected. The concepts mentioned in Chapter 1 should not disappear in Chapter 2 but rather should be reinforced with the research you present along the way. You can achieve this in the Data Analysis section where you reference past ideas. 2. Overuse of jargon, your major may introduce you to technical words that may be normal to you. However, some readers may not fully grasp the meaning of some jargon terms, so it is advisable to minimize the jargon. This allows more readers to understand your paper. 3. Poor survey interview skills, your instructor will expect your dissertation to be an in-depth look at the topic. You may use a survey method to collect data to acquire new insights. However, some students fail to probe respondents leading to shallow data. Using questions such as why can prevent this. 4. Using a poor thesis statement, a thesis statement is a statement that expresses the main idea of an essay. It must be precise and to the point, and descriptive enough to generate the reader's interest. Be sure to brainstorm before selecting a thesis statement and choose an intriguing topic. 5. No connection between thesis and content, developing a good thesis is just one step of the process. As a dissertation writer, you must successfully connect the idea to the presented information. Ensure that your content and thesis complement and support each other. 6. Lack of proofreading. The longer you write, the more likely you are to make errors. These could be spelling, grammatical, or logic and can affect your paper's readability and, ultimately, your grade. While tools such as Grammarly can help you pick out such instances, you could benefit from proofreading and editing from our dissertation writers. Many students avoid this, but a 300-page document could contain several errors. As such, we encourage students to register for our editing and proofreading service to minimize the number of errors. 7. Poor academic writing skills, just like you would a normal essay, avoid plagiarism and false claims. These can lead to disciplinary action from your school. You should also avoid fragmented sentences and the use of the first or second person, as it is not academically accepted.